Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. If you want to get to the completion of God's will, you're going to have to reject patterns of this world and change your intellect and understanding so that you have a renewal of heart and life. It is at this point one will be able to examine and approve what God's complete desires are. This is why it is so important to know what's in your Bible, because there are many different patterns of thought in this world And it is remarkable how much of it is not based on what God has said. Let's take a very simple aspect of God's intellect and apply it as an example in this video. Let's say you are a person that doesn't think very highly of yourself. You don't feel smart enough, good enough, or strong enough. But when you read your Bible, you read verses like, Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, or we can have the mind of Christ, or we are a special utensil for honorable use. Your thoughts are telling you one thing, yet God in his word is saying something completely different. It's up to you. Yes, only you can renew or change your mind. When you hear what the Lord is saying, you have a choice to reject it or take it in and operate with the new understanding that you are good because you are needed for a purpose and whatever God has you doing, you are wise enough and strong enough to pull it off. I think people sometimes assume God is going to renew their minds. That's just not true. It's actually up to you to do the changing as he gives you the grace to do it. When you agree with him, despite what your own personal opinion is, there is a contagious affection combined with the will of the Father in heaven that is so massive it sends out frequencies into the atmosphere that can shake societies. That's right, the constant flow of agreeing with God and becoming a vessel of honor causes shifts in atmospheres because you are transmitting the power of God wherever you go in all you do. I want to give you a tip here and something that I've noticed over the years. Usually, the exact area you struggle in is because it is one of your strengths. The enemy sees it as a threat, so he has tried to defeat and torment you before you wake up and realize the worth you are carrying. Now back to atmosphere shifts. When a person shifts the atmosphere with contagious affection, it is so important that they continue to be led by Holy Spirit so they can attain purpose that drives the success of a community and the proper administration of the gifts that God wants to administer. I have personally seen the move of God stopped many times as the person in charge is more concerned about making announcements and giving their overall personal assessment versus standing in faith, believing for the portals of deliverance, miracles, and healings. Some healings come by way of an atmosphere change. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 4 to 6 Now, there are distinctive varieties of spiritual gifts, special abilities given by the grace and extraordinary power of the Holy Spirit operating in believers, but it is the same Spirit who grants them and empowers believers. And there are distinctive varieties of ministries and service, but it is the same Lord who is served. And there are distinctive ways of working to accomplish things, but it is the same God who produces all things in all believers, inspiring, energizing, and empowering them.